from England, India. And this is my five minute masterclass on how to build and maintain a strong head of St. Korean. So number one, find a place that suits you best. I would strongly recommend a very good and solid foundation course. You need to shop around. There are many academies available, training schools and academies. Um, you need to find something that is aligned with your philosophy. Find out about the faculty, who will be teaching you, what is their background, and shop around and make sure you find a place that is most aligned with your own personal philosophy. And a good foundation course will stand you in good stead for the rest of your career. Number two is about practice. You've heard the saying, practice makes perfect. And in this field, you will never get enough practice. We come across many, many different types of people, many, many different hair types and hair textures. So the more practice you can get, both in communicating with people and in technical skills, the better you'll become. Remember that you're only as good as the last haircut you did. Number three, don't ignore the competition. It's very important to stay abreast of trends and fashion because art, music, lifestyle trends, all these things will influence the way that your customer thinks. And the wonderful thing about the business we are in is that there's always something new to learn. Number four is about professionalism. Since we are part of the service industry, it's very important to follow a few basic rules of professionalism. The first one I think is about being on time. We work on an appointment basis and our clients rely on us to be on time. Always smile. It's very important to be able to leave your troubles at the door when you come to work and put on your best smile um, for your working day. You work as part of a team and it's very important to have uh, a happy demeanor because it's not nice to work with people. Who are not smiling. The other thing is just smell fresh, be fresh, and be prepared. We have a very famous saying by me, which is failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And that's how uh, we train and we run to have. Number five is about being physically fit. This is a very physically demanding role. Working long hours, standing on your feet all day. I would highly recommend some form of exercise that will stand you in good stead for a career behind the gym. Number six is about teamwork. Essentially, the success of a salon and a stylist is its ability to work as a team. Be a team player. Point number seven is about communication. Communication is a crucial part of the work that we do. Communication can be taught and learned. The power of listening is the most underrated skill. Our job is only 50% about the technique. The rest is about how we communicate with our clients in order to create what it is that they need. Number eight is about trust. Building trust between clients and colleagues um, is a very important part of communicating well and building a good rapport. Building a good rapport with both your clients and your colleagues will help you build your business for the future. Number nine, at the Beeblunt Academy, we teach 47 different disciplines, all related to building and maintaining a diverse clientele. A good understanding of the basic science of hair and skin is an absolute must in order to understand the material that we are working on. We then progress on to learning how to handle the hair. This takes practice. To become proficient at working with the tools and managing to control the hair. It is taught systematically and in great depth in order to create a good solid understanding of the craft. And finally, number 10. If you're thinking about a career in hairdressing, please go ahead. It's so much fun. It just takes consistency, practice, and a lot of hard work. Thank you so much for being part of my five minute masterclass. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below.